Tretelisses here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today with a curtain review to share with you. I got some nice curtains. Yes, I'm gonna show you, tell you all about them. And I'll be making some glam tie backs to go on them. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna share all that with you guys. So, if it's your first time here, I'd like to say welcome. And I do hope you will hit that subscribe button and become part of the Glamster team. And I hope you hit the bell and I hope you also give me a thumbs up for today's video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's get into today's DIY. Okay, everyone. I have this picture frame here that I got from the dollar store. It's a regular five by, I think, seven picture frame. And all you have to do is make sure it's not too heavy. You know, it has to be light so it won't drag down your curtains. So we are just going to take out everything out of the back of the frame. Okay, so now we just have this part of the frame. That's all we need to use for our tie backs. And I'll be using this glam chain here <laughs> to decor out our tie back. And I'll be using some E6000 to help glue down the chain going all the way around. So I'm just going to start by placing the E6000 going around and we're going to lay our train then we are going to lay the chain going right around the frame and today's curtains is brought to you by K George <laughs> they have lots of curtains on their site for indoor outdoor blackout curtains everything sheer curtains lots of lovely curtains for you to choose from and their curtains come at an affordable price. Lots of beautiful curtains, different shades, and everything for you to choose from. And now for the inside, we're gonna add one more layer of our glam chain going all the way around. And the same thing again, apply the E6000 and then lay down our chain going all the way around. And now I have these little wood sticks that I got from the dollar store. And I'm just gonna be using some white acrylic paint and we're going to be painting our sticks just painting them all white don't have to glam them up because they're barely going to show just the edges of them will show so we're just going to paint all of them white going all the way around and i'll set them aside to dry for a few hours while our curtain tie box are drying i'm going to open up the curtains and as you see this is how they came in the package So I'm just going to take them out and they do come with their own um, curtain tie backs. They have them here, <laughs> these rope ones. They're very nice, nice and thick and strong and sturdy, but I want to use mine. The glam ones that I made are what I'm going to use, but they do come with them. So you don't need to make any if you choose not to. And then here are our curtains. They're very nice, soft, and they feel thick, and they're like a sheer, uh, shiny, nice material. And it comes with the loops. The loops are silver, and they are a two-panel curtain, and this is the sheer side here. So it comes with two pieces. One side is a solid side, and the other side is the sheer curtain in white. And these, do, these curtains do come in other colors for you to choose from. Now here is the first look with this curtain. You can have more than one look because you can have the sheer to the front or you can have the black to the front. So in this right here, I just did uh, two sides with the black out and then the middle with the sheer piece, the white piece on the outside. I think they look lovely. And the length I got is 84 because my thing doesn't go right to the ceiling. 
So I got the 84, but they do go longer. They have longer lens. <clears throat> All right. Now let me show you guys. See the tie backs are here that I did. I put on three already. So now I'm going to separate um, the shear at the back and gather the front piece so I can show you guys how to put on the tie back. So here's the shear at the back. So just take our little tie back that we did, put the gathered piece of the curtain through, whoops, <laughs> through the middle part. <laughs> and then we're going to take the little wood stick that we painted and just stick it in between to hold our tie back in place. And then you can just straighten it up. <laughs> and there we go. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> I like how they look. Okay, I'm going to show you closer. <laughs> so you gather the curtain, push them through our little picture frame, take the wood piece and stick it from the back to the other side. And there you go. And then just fix your little curtain inside. See why I left them white? Because they hardly show. The little piece of stick hardly shows. And then you just straighten it out. And there you go. I think it looks very nice. I love how the tie backs look. All glammed and easy and using dollar store items. Yeah. One, two, three, four dollars. Five dollars, sorry. <laughs> it cost me five dollars to make these. Because I already had the bling chain. So it was nice. And I think they look lovely. absolutely lovely tell me what you think of our thigh back of my tie backs leave me a comment down below <laughs> and I love these curtains from K George <laughs> they're absolutely beautiful I took the four panels they were 52 inches 52 the width is 52 and because I wanted four like these gathers that are here, I wanted four of them. You could get the longer ones, which is 70, then you'd only have two. But I didn't want that. I wanted the four, so that's why I took the panel with the 52 width of the panel. <laughs> and I think it looks lovely. In my dining area, I have two. I didn't put no tie backs over here. Um, I might, well, I might go back and get some and make it for it. But for now, no, I like it just like this. <laughs> In the dining area, two of the blackout curtains on each side. And it's a separate curtain. A sheer piece of curtain I had from before, I have in the middle. But I think it looks absolutely lovely. A lovely piece of curtain for my new fall home decor. Yeah. <laughs> you know your girl Arlie switches up very much, but now I switch up for fall. And I think it looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you to Kay George for these lovely curtains. <laughs> and here is another look. I only have two panels tied back this time and the sides are solid. And when I close all of them, the room is very dark. I love it. Blackout curtains are so beautiful. And then the sheer behind them, the two in one panel is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> So this is my new fall decor look. I'm going into the black, black, white. <laughs> I love it. A lovely color for me for fall. All right, everyone, I'm going to leave a link below to K. George curtains. So you guys can go over and check them out. They have different styles like I showed you and lots of different curtains for you to choose from. <laughs> So I'll leave the link below so you guys can go over and check them out. And the ones I got are the blackout curtains with sheer overlay panels. <laughs> and I took um, three packs. That's what I did. And I think they look absolutely beautiful. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of my tie backs for my curtains and my new look for the fall. <laughs> and remember, as always. Stay blessed from Petal is blessed. 
and I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.